Keeping your notes organized in Notability is going to be one of the biggest tips I can suggest to you. If you notice on the left hand side, if you don't have any organization set up, your notes are just going to go into unfilled notes. Uh, you do have the option to create dividers and subjects. And in Notability, there is a graphic that I can share with you to explain what these mean. So you have notes. Each individual note is like an each is an individual piece of paper. Those notes can then be organized into subjects. I like to think of subjects as file folders. So you can create um, a subject and have one or multiple notes in one file folder or one subject. Those subjects can then be organized into um, dividers. And now there are nested dividers. So you can think of a, a main divider as a filing cabinet and each drawer in that filing cabinet would be your nested dividers. So those folders can then go into the drawer and then that drawer is in the main filing cabinet. So if we look at that in the actual structure, you can see I have a divider that I've named divider. Inside that divider, I have a nested divider with a subject inside of it. And then I can create nested dividers completely within that. So you could create a divider for each of your classes and then have different content or six weeks that you um, organize your notes into. So to add dividers and subjects, you tap on the plus sign in the top left hand corner. Here is where you can add a subject. Notice it tells you subjects group notes and then you can also add a divider and it tells you that dividers group subjects. So I would click on one of these give it a name and then now that uh, subject is in my organization you can edit these and move them around if you push and hold you can then um, choose to edit rename um, or delete them if you pick edit you can change the color you can lock it and password protect it or rename it or I also have the ability to drag it and drop it anywhere in that organization structure if I need to move it. So I can move this one to divider um, there. Another way to edit these is if you tap on edit at the top left hand corner, you then have the option to uh, drag and drop your uh, dividers and subjects around. Um, as well and then you'll notice there's a gear symbol next to all of these that's where you can go and edit those different options and then to get notes into a, a specific subject i can push and hold on that note and again i can drag and drop it into whichever subject or divider i need to um, additionally if you tap edit on the screen when you do have notes you can rename them and again you can drag them and drop them wherever you need them to go keeping your notes organized is going to allow you to more easily find what it is you're looking for um, so i can't stress enough to make sure to organize your notes another option that you have um, is if you you can change how you're viewing the notes within the dividers once you see uh, the list here, if I drag down just slightly, you can change it to do the grid view where you get a bigger preview of what your note looks like. So list view or grid view. And then you can also change how those um, notes are sorted, name, modified date, or created date. So that option shows up with those two double arrows. A few other options you have available to you with the individual notes, if you push and hold on a note option, you get a pop-up that allows you to share, duplicate, um, show where that note is in the note list, and you can also delete the note or move it to your trash. So those options are available as well.